Hello, I'm Samuel Truesdell. I'm with the Rolls-Royce Corporation, also the division chair of the Corporate and Industry Partnerships Division. Uh, currently, there are some uh, missing links or missing gaps between how students are educated and what engineers currently need in industry. So what can we do to get them there? Um, so let's identify what they lack. Um, things that they lack would be the management skills for managing their time and their work and even projects. Also, they lack the understanding of what time and money type inter interactions would be. Another uh, key component is communication. You must be able to communicate your design to, uh, to anyone at any time. What good does, is it for someone to come forward and uh, design the next perfect innovation for a company, but yet can't communicate it to a team to actually bring this to fruition? And uh, thirdly, the attitude. You need a great attitude in industry um, because you're going to be working with so many different teams across so many different people. You need to have a pleasant type disposition. It's your choice every morning to wake up and come in happy or come in grumpy about the day. So as we integrate education and industry through something called cooperative education, which is a model that's out there, I believe was started by uh, Cincinnati over 100 years ago. And uh, this model allows the student to actually work in uh, industry and go to school every other semester. This kind of reinforces the industry behaviors. Um, what else would we look for? We'd also look for um, an understanding of time and money in their actual school assignments. So in the assignment that you actually have, you'd have more of a customer-driven assignment. Not necessarily, this is a problem statement in the book, but here's customer X. Customer X has requirements, and these requirements need to be met for X amount of costs. This allows for such amount of profit. This is what industry lives on, but it, that model does not seem to be taught um, in academia. 70% of the classroom in academia actually ends up hiring into industry. Another 15% of that classroom goes to government, which gives industry that requirements. And only 6% of that classroom uh, stays on through education and become professors themselves. So a uh, redirect of how the classroom is taught to target the majority, which is the 70% the in industry and 15% in government, which gives industry the requirements they must meet. Um, I believe that needs to happen, so more object-oriented or project-based learning needs to occur in undergraduate education. And then the attitude. The attitude is something that is more of the team or oriented spirit, so more team type projects, more things that understand inclusion. Um, nowadays, companies are actually grading individuals on their um, ability to integrate or their fit with the company. So they call it an organizational fit test. And there are a lot of third parties that do this for many companies such as uh, Northrop Grumman, um, such as Procter & Gamble and Rolls-Royce. So we need to look at how that person fits psychologically with the organization. And as engineers, we don't really think about that much, but that's a true uh, fit to the organization. Can they play the game of, of industry corporate America and do they work well with others? And that's very important. So we can work those, all those out by industry and academia coming together to help produce this product, the student. Um, which will help bring the innovation for our nation, which will actually open up new frontiers and create a whole new economy because this is what we really need is more great thinkers.